we're gonna be moving our beautiful colorful lobsters into a brand new breeding tank. I wouldn't be surprised if there are any more baby blue lobsters still. Oh look, there's one inside the tank. Woo! Look at our boy Ninja, he loves to be pet. You guys see that? <laughs> oh, it's like a dog. What up, Slayers? Today, we're gonna go ahead and do something amazing like we always do on this channel. But before we get into that, I wanted to go ahead and give our shout out, our find the sticker shout out to our lucky winner. Congratulations to Evan Thorburn. <laughs> You are the lucky winner to the last video shout out. Guys, if you want to go ahead and get shouted out at the beginning of the next video, stay tuned, pay attention, and make sure to answer those questions which are found at the end of the video, okay? With that being said, we're going to get into this video. We're going to be moving our beautiful, colorful lobsters into a brand new breeding tank. So what's really cool about this tank is actually for betas which are used for breeding. You can go ahead and put two betas on each side. What I'm going to go ahead and do is actually put two of our crawfish here. Now, I have Captain America which is in this tank which I'll show you shortly. He likes to hide inside of his pot, as well as this one here. This is our newest, whitest, most awesome, colorful crawfish we have, which I haven't named yet because I'm still not okay with it. So right now, she shall be named No Name. No name for this lobster for now. But guys, don't forget to go ahead and comment below. I really am looking for that perfect name that will stick for a white colorful crawfish. Now, like I'm saying with this right here, I found this awesome tank here, my local store in Beverly's. And what's really awesome about this actually, is that it's a complete single system. Look at that, Ooh. big sponges. I added a pump and a beautiful light. This is also a very good lid, so they can no longer escape because Guys, if you haven't watched my previous videos, Captain America escaped. I found it behind the other tank. It was a crazy video. I'm going to link it below so you guys can watch that. So I had to make sure that I got a tank that has a very solid lid. So what we're going to do first before setting up this, we're going to have to go ahead and take out some water, put them in the following buckets right here, and then move a colorful crawfish and get to working. Are you excited, Lily? I'm so excited. Are you excited? Slayer's back there. We're excited. Oh, all right, perfect. All right, Slayer, so I went ahead and I unplugged the pumps. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is separate our beautiful crawfish. So I'm gonna siphon out some water first, a little bit. I don't wanna taste any crawfish poo. And we're gonna add them here. We don't need much water for Captain America, which is completely okay. I'm gonna leave that much water because I have plans with that water in a second. And then we're gonna also siphon out No Names water. Go ahead, and there we go. Just enough so that their gills are wet. And I have a third bucket, which I'm gonna show you what to do. If you're setting everything up, you wanna keep the same water so that they're not in shock. And on top of that, I wanna clean all that gravel from any leftover food. Super excited for what's gonna happen because it's gonna be nice to see Captain America and No Name together for potential breeding. So, now that we have some water here, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the pots. And they're usually in the pots. Look at that, there she is right there, guys. I don't know if you can see, she's hiding. And this is the breeding pot, the famous pot where Crayola laid her babies. Aww. So I wanna go ahead and get her out of here. We have a female white crawfish, which would crawl out right here. Come on, Ooh. into my hand. Come on, don't be shy. She's so shy. She's so shy. So you know what, I'm gonna put her right here. We'll look at her in a second when she crawls out of this. And I'm gonna grab this pot over here, which is with Captain America, which he should be inside. And that is correct, he is inside. Look at that. Look at those colors. I don't know if you guys can see. Where is he? He's inside all the way in the back. There he is. So we're gonna actually put this pot in here too. If he wants to come out, he's more than welcome to come out. There's enough water for him to thrive in there for the meantime. So what we're doing with the third bucket, actually, like I said, is to now siphon out all the water and the gravel at the same time. It's a mission. Wish me luck, guys. And as you can see, I can siphon out all the sand as fast as possible while we still have water. And it's the easiest way to get your substrate out of your tank when you do this. And we're gonna be doing the same thing to Captain America sand as well. And grab as much sand as we can, clean it out, and get it ready for their new home. Look who decided to come out and play, which is perfect so I can go ahead and clean his pot. But there's Captain America. Come take a look at his colors. The red, the whites, the blues, 
Hence why he's called Captain America. <gasps> Look what got on this side too. So as you can see, her colors are vibrant as well, but she's just white. She's just translucent white. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is clean the pots as well as look at this. We obviously gotta clean the sand a little bit oh, yeah. and change their water and everything. I got well water now, which was a great move for Ninja for all my tanks and everything like that. So give me a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and wash this sand, examine our colorful crawfish and then set up that tank. All right guys, so this was the tank where the baby lobsters were born. And I wouldn't be surprised if there are any more baby blue lobsters still living. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh my God, there's still baby blue lobsters. And oh, look, there's one inside the tank. <gasps> look, guys, can you guys see? Here, let me take the light out, zoom in. Oh my God, there's baby blue lobsters still. <sighs> so guys, they hatched in this tank roughly about three months ago. Now, if I, if I can go ahead and get another look at them, Where'd he go? Oh, he's all the way in the back corner, right back there. So that's another baby blue crawfish. And I believe there's a couple back here. Oh, yep, there's another one here. So what we have to go ahead and do now is figure out how to get these baby blue crawfish and move them to where I have my other baby blue crawfish. So give me a few moments because this is super unexpected. Like, I didn't expect to go ahead and find them. I knew they would live in the biomedia eventually, but gosh, dude, out of all the millions, we still have a couple right here. Look at this guy go right down here. Whee! All right, guys, so we have one, two, and three crawfish right here, which are pretty crazy. They're still so blue, still so young, though. I can't believe they survived in that tank. Tiny. I thought I got so many of them. I mean, you guys saw that I went ahead and sucked up a whole bunch, but I did, I guess I didn't get them all. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is leave these guys in here, probably add a little bit more water and then possibly add them to the enclosure full of baby crawfish. So this is actually a six gallon tank and what they were in before were 2.6 gallon tanks. So if you divide it, it's about the same size, give or take, it's about the same size. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and have it as a one whole system and it's gonna be perfect for breeding so that when I can just grab No Name, throw it in Captain America's, they do the dirty and then I throw them back over here. And it should be good to go. I'm gonna put the same substrate, I'm gonna put the same pots. Everything's measured, everything's perfect to the key. And I have a beautiful light. So now, now both of them can be appreciated equally. So it's a really good system. I did a very good job in making sure I picked the right stuff. And I'm super excited. Is this the one I wanted? My Aqua Top? Yeah, I went ahead and got an upgraded pump to go ahead and have it flow a lot better than those Fluvo pumps, which I'm still a Fluvo fan, I love Fluvos but I couldn't find a fluval pump that would fit perfectly here. So I have my carbon, which is this. I have my biomedia, which is this. I can also throw some biomedia. I have my sponges. Yeah, they're good sponges. It's perfect. Sorry for the movement. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to get it all set up and I'll meet you back here when it's time to add our crawfish. All right, Slayers. So here we have Captain America right there as you can see i'm going to show you his colors in a second and then we have no name down here which is absolutely gorgeous our gorgeous white female now what's pretty awesome about all that is this actually look at this tank and how it came out it is absolutely beautiful it is perfect for these guys everything together one central system as you can see come check it out beautiful light Huge sponges, huge biomedia. Everything couldn't have turned out better. So I'm super excited for these guys. So this water is a little warmer because it's been toasty. So my well water is a little, little hot. So what I'm gonna do is actually add these guys into this bag with their water and acclimate them appropriately. All right, Slayers. So look how red he has gotten. Oh, he's trying to break through. Relax, bro. It's almost time for you to get through. Don't break the bag. And then we have No Name, which we're still looking for a name, guys. And she looks great. Can't wait to go ahead and, and braid them. It's gonna be so, so cool. It's the time has finally come where we go ahead and release our beautiful color for crawfish. So ladies first, and we have No Name. Yes, No Name. So don't forget in the comments below, guys, name No Name, because she doesn't have a name. And look how pretty she is. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous, guys. She is gorgeous. Ooh, in reverse. All right, so she is ready to go ahead and go inside. We're just gonna have her walk right in and boop. There she goes. One down and she looks really good in there. That black on black to white it is sick. So right there, I kind of got a name, but I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna let you guys try to figure it out. But number two, 
comes the man, the myth, the legend, Captain America. That is right. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get this guy out. Come, my friend. Crawl out. Come on. I know you want to come inside. Oh, here you go. In reverse. Er, 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 er. There you go. Look at him. Look so at awesome. him. So what's cool is on camera, you really see blue, reds. When he's in a tank, you really see the reds. So, ah! Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy. Please be merciful. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to add him in this tank right here. Please. Yes. Perfect. I am the crawfish tamer. Now look at those colors, guys. So as you can see, he's looking for a place to hide. Worry not. We're going to add those pots very, very soon. And look at her. Aww. Dude, this tank is sick. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, how could I forget? It is time to play. Find the Slayem sticker. Now, I went ahead and placed a certain amount of stickers as well as certain colors and everything. So question number one, what color are the stickers? Question number two, where did I put the first sticker? And question number three, what color is Captain America, guys? And whoever answers these three questions correct will be shouted out in the beginning of the next video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.